couple of topics. Uh, first one, JMU football. Mm -hmm. Congrats. Thank you. Scholarship involved? Yeah. They're going to um, they're gonna give me a partial this year. Okay. And then uh, when some more money opens up, hopefully I'll move up next year. Work okay. hard. Right okay. Now. Knock on wood. Mm -hmm. uh, red shirt or no? Or do they want you to come in and play? Um, that's still up in the air right now. Okay. Not sure. We'll see. Okay. Wide out or safety? Wide out. Cool. Possibly uh, tight end if I get Really? Bigger. If you bulk up anymore? Yeah. If I get bigger, so. Okay. We'll see. Okay. But you'll be catching the ball most likely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, last time I talked to you, you said it's a toss-up. JMU football or Penn State track. Did you toss and turn with the decision, or what did it come down to? came down to money. I Scholarship? Mean, yeah, because Penn State would have been, I would have been a decathlete. Cool. And the thing with that is mm -hmm. it's hard to... Like they said, it's hard for them to give out scholarships to decathletes okay. because decathlete, like, I don't do all the events okay. in high school. Okay. So they don't know, for example, the pole vault. Mm -hmm. I've never done it. So oh, okay. I, I could be terrible at that, yeah. which then they wouldn't want me to be decathlete. So right. they don't have anything to base their decision off of okay. with that stuff. Okay. But, so the scholarship was way too much to pass up at the end of the day? Yeah. I mean, Penn State would have been like a, a walk-on type thing, and okay. I would have had to earn that, too. So. Okay. What were you studying down there? I'm still undecided. Okay. I, I'm really not sure. Something business, probably. Okay. Long way to go. Mm -hmm. uh, what turned you on to JMU? What did you like? I'm sure you were down there. It's a cool campus and a yeah. cool place, and they play in a great league. What What else did you like about that? I just I love the atmosphere. I mean, I love the coaches. Obviously, scholarship was a big thing. You know, the facilities are great. Mm -hmm. The I mean, the people are great. Mm -hmm. it's down south, it's warmer. A little bit. <laughs> Getting warmer, so. Um, you comfortable with that level of competition? You think you'll be able to go there and play mm -hmm. to that speed and defenses and all that stuff? Yeah, I mean, guys just kind of continue to work hard and mm -hmm. get on their lifting and speed training programs and everything else. And okay. Should be good. Having played for Mannheim, been in a state final, gone to playoffs, there's not much you haven't seen. I don't think you'll, you'll be phased at all by that level. True. And how much did playing at Mannheim prep you for what you're going to see next, do you think? I mean, it definitely, like being like like the state championship game, I mean, that's a, playing in front of a big crowd and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how JMU is going to be, big crowds and whatnot. And it's just something like that. It's kind of like a similar atmosphere down to JMU. About a year ago, my friend, you got sick. Yeah. And you missed out on a whole bunch of fun stuff in the spring. <laughs> What are you doing to stay healthy this spring and not, you know, hoping you don't have a repeat of that again? Orange juice every morning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm constantly eating my vitamin C, that's for sure. Okay. So. Is that driving you? I mean, you missed a lot of fun stuff last year. You had leagues, right, but then you missed districts and you missed states. I, well, I missed leagues and then I tried to come back for districts. That's right. And then it got up. Yeah, I mean, this year, how do I put this in words? It's almost like a... I got to make up for last year. Sure. Lost time. I mean, I really worked hard to get back to normal. I mean, it took a it took a while. Mm -hmm. So I just got to go out there and do it, basically. Yeah. And make up for last year. Um, I'm just just looking at at high jump because a lot of people know you for that. This should be fun. I mean, the Max Kid at Garden Spot and Robbie at CV mm -hmm. are going to push you. Has, has the competition been? Good this spring, and how's that going? Yeah, uh, the competition is great. You know, I, I think the competition this year has been better than my sophomore and junior years mm -hmm. by far. I mean, we've got uh, three guys in the league that have gone over six six before, mm -hmm. and that's you know for for the league that's pretty high mm -hmm. for the Lebanon uh, Lancaster Lebanon league. But it definitely helps to have that competition because. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody's, I mean, we're all pushing each other. I mean, that's how you go higher, you know? Sure. So, it's good. Hasn't been a great spring weather-wise. Has that affected how you prep and get yourself ready and be ready for uh, big meets in a month? Yeah, I mean, it started out real cold. I mean, yeah. every year it March. does. Um, I mean, it's like any other year. It rains, it's cold. <laughs> but now we're starting to uh, get warmer and mm -hmm. starting to feel a lot better about everything. And, Okay. Do you like the way you're performing? Are you comfortable with the heights you're getting to? Uh, hopefully you're not peaking in late April, but I mean, do you feel like you have some big yeah. jumps to come here in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm definitely, I definitely feel like I haven't hit my peak yet okay. because there's been, I've attempted 6'8 a few times this year and 
it's I've been over it. Mm -hmm. I just got to finish it. I'm okay. knocking it off stupid things, my feet, my ankles, whatever. Okay. So when it comes time to, uh, you know, leagues and districts and stuff, mm -hmm. that'll all click and then it'll be good to go. So. Okay. You feel like you're getting towards that and just you got to iron out a couple things? And mm -hmm. It's just the, the main things, the fundamentals are there. It's just uh, the, the technique part and the, uh, the little things is what will help uh, once we fix that, we'll be pretty good to go. So. Okay. Last thing, how is how is your school doing? That was not a fun winter, losing your friends. How's everybody's psyche? How's everybody coping? How's everybody dealing with this? With this, a couple of months out now. Uh, now a couple months out. I mean, things are starting to get back to normal. Okay. Um, and obviously, a loss like that, it's going to take a while to get things back to the way they were. And, mm -hmm. But I mean, with the help of Everybody around, like even Lancaster, the whole the whole entire community, just helping out and everything. I mean, it really helped to get us back uh, to normal and such. Mm -hmm. So, we I'm really sure, appreciate that. I'm sure you think of those guys every day. Do they creep in your mind when you're doing your thing, when you're jumping and working out? Do you push yourself a little harder? Do you think about them and that, without sounding too hokey, that you have the chance that you're still getting to do this? You think yeah. about that stuff? Yeah, I mean, I definitely, I definitely think about that a lot. I mean, especially uh, when working out and whatnot. I mean, it's just something like that. I mean, it, it does help to motivate you because those guys were hard workers mm -hmm. and we loved them and everything. So we want to like, I mean, it's just, uh, you know what I'm saying. It's tough. It's yeah, tough. I, I, this is hard for you guys. It, it really is. Yeah, I mean. It, but yeah, it does come into my mind a lot. And mm -hmm. It helps to, I mean, I feel blessed every day. I mean, I know those guys are watching over us and everything. And, but, yeah. You want to do your best for them? Yeah, yeah, exactly.